Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video to share with you guys how I am successfully keeping Daphnia outside where I live in Southern California. Um, so this is just one of those, those plastic 20 gallon barrel looking tubs from Home Depot or Lowe's. And I have some substrate on the bottom of it. I actually have some like coarse sand. I have a Perret foam filter from Swiss Tropicals. I have some frog bit that's clearly in the sun too much. Um, but I started out with keeping my assassin snails in here, my assassin snails that I sometimes sell or just, you know, I don't want to kill them because of overpopulation. So I threw them in this barrel outside and I feed my ram's horn snails to them. Well, um, I started to have green water because basically for green water, you just need um, a food source and sunlight. And so I'm I feed my um, ram's horn snails and the assassin snails from time to time some food flake or some um, community flake or algae wafers. So that's the food source. So I thought, you know what? Since I've got green water, I'm going to just try and attempt to get a um, Daphnia culture going. So, um, this is my Daphnia culture, and I got them about a week and a half ago. You're going to start to see them. But it's really tough because of the lighting. But the um, majority of the Daphnia were dead whenever I got them. I don't know if it's because of shipping with the heat. But, um, so I didn't have a lot to start with, but they've really rebounded really well. And in a minute, you're going to start to see see them. I've got a lot of babies right now. And I've got a lot of green water. This barrel I keep in the sunlight, um, I'd say probably 60% of the day it gets, it gets good sunlight. Um, I don't really know the type of Daphnia. I don't know if it's the Moina or the other ones, the other kind, but the Daphne itself are actually pretty large. And the lighting is really bad. You can see them barely they're really blurry but I've got a lot of young ones and so their population is rebounding so the one thing I want to mention with your Daphnia culture if you're gonna keep it in something like this which is a smaller body of water if they are prone to crashing so if you're not going to watch your population if you're not gonna feed from it and remove the Daphnia um, fairly regularly then it is a good idea to create a secondary or a backup culture. And I do have one of these going in another area of my yard. I'm on the side of the house in the backyard. But um, the other thing is, is green water. So you can see them. The green water is kind of maintaining itself. Like I said, it just needs a, a food source and light. And really that's how you can create green water. How I got their green water really going with this was from another tank that had some green water outside. I have the bubbler because, um, or the sponge filter because obviously you need with heat and um, I got snails in here. Um, so I'm just, you know, I'm keeping it going and I'm not noticing that I'm having a big die off with my Daphnia because of air getting under their carapace and it's, it's on a, a slower kind of bubble. But anyway, so I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm having success keeping Daphnia. My backup culture is basically the same thing in this part of my yard. See that green water? I actually have scuds in this one. It's 
Scuds love um, a sponge filter or any kind of sponge material. They go bananas and uh, you know, in the right conditions you can reproduce and they reproduce really quickly. And, um, and, and, and like if you rinse your sponge filter out, oh my Lord, Scuds galore. Anyway, if you guys have questions, just let me know. I'm happy to help you out. If you have any questions or want to know how to keep these guys in like a, a, a pond-like situation outside, you know, this isn't too unsightly, you know, it's got some driftwood and um, some frog bit. Um, I think that's Salvinia, the little smaller ones. I probably mispronouncing that. But anyway, so this is how I'm keeping them. And I know it's really hard to see because of the glare, but I do have quite a bit in here. And like I said, I've only had this culture for probably about 10 days and they're starting to really pick up in numbers. You can see them. Take care, thanks for watching.